and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to welcome you all to the sixth International Procurement and Supply Chain Conference 2021, presented by Blue Ocean Conferences. This is the biggest gathering I've seen since uh, the beginning of the pandemic. I congratulate you on the selection of the theme of this conference. One world, one supply chain, evolution of connected global supply chain community. As I said, it goes very well with the, also the theme of uh, the expo. This is a topic of very, very high interest, actually. It's the perpetual value of supply chain equipment, which talks about why it is important for supply chain leaders to embrace long-term perpetual change. To take us through this keynote, please welcome on stage, he's ready already, Mr. Gavin Keane, Strategy Market and Product Development at GLS International. Thank you so much. Everybody in this room, is involved in the supply chain, whether they realize it or not. Our daily logistics from A to B, the planning of our weekly shop, the coordination and execution of today's event. These are all the supply chain in action. December the 31st, 2019, everything changed for everybody. COVID-19 threw the world into a global pandemic. Every country, every company, and everyone in this room has been affected in one way or the other. Not even the keep calm, call the experts could have predicted the disruption that COVID-19 would have on global, regional, and local supply chains. But what has become evidence over the last 20 months of this crisis is what we could be and what we could do if we set aside our differences and we tap into the intrinsic power of teamwork. Products can be copied, but the supply chain provides a true competitive advantage. 21st, supply, 21st century supply chains have transformed into global, interconnected demand and supply networks, all operating in a very, very uncertain world. In the pursuit of financial efficiency, global manufacturing has shifted to low-cost countries. This has resulted in an increase in freight. This has congested ports, undermining the resilience of almost every supply chain. Cost cutting for the sake of cost has been a race to the bottom. This has resulted in global economies with limited redundancies, contingencies, and safeguards. Over the last 20 months, we have seen headline after headline reporting on the vulnerabilities and the fragility of the global supply chain. From toilet paper, to ammunition, to pallets, to semiconductors, every supply chain has been affected in one way or another. It's a simple quote, but it pretty much summarizes the complexity of the supply chain. Supply chains, in essence, are a continuous and evolving practice, and companies that can perfect their practice will ultimately dominate. GLS, part of the supergroup of companies, is one link in a very focused and strategic approach that we call integrated supply chain solutioning. Lieben Logistics is the wheels, RSC is the labor, and GLS is the equipment. One example of all three solutions working in sync is with one of our retail clients in South Africa. Lieben Logistics, sorry, Lieben Logistics is responsible for the distribution of the products from the retailer DC to the retailer store. They manage the reverse logistics from the store back to the equipment return centers. RSC provides the labor components to manage the day-to-day -day DC operations, from the product receiving, to the put away, to the put down, the picking, the product loading, and the marshalling. And GLS, with their very unique and bespoke control tower, manages all returnable packaging, both into the supply chain and out of the supply chain. In a typical year within this particular client's environment, GLS will process, reconcile, and report on 18 million equipment transactions. Within the GLS business, there are two distinct business units, the equipment services unit and the equipment sales and rental piece. The equipment services unit handles the day-to-day -day operational functionality of the return center, offloading the trucks, turning the trucks around within 15 minutes, sorting, segregating, and marshaling the equipment to the various users, 
working with the DC supply chains to do the planning to ensure that sufficient equipment is on hand for the next DC picked, as well as managing the store recyclables coming back from store. In terms of our equipment sales and pilling division, we offer customers the opportunity to either buy their equipment or rent the equipment, depending on their appetite for CapEx or OpEx. In every solution that we enter into, it comes with a spirit of collaboration. Every party involved in the transaction should feel that they have won something in both hard costs and soft cost solutions. And we recognize that only in the true spirit of partnerships can long-term sustainable value be extracted. Some of the problems that we have been asked to basically position and solution have been, for example, in the UAE recently, we've just launched the region's first crate pooling operation with one of the region's major retailers. The objective of this project is the long-term removal of single-use corrugated packaging from the UAE supply chain. Another solution that we've been asked to position has been for a major retailer in South Africa, the number one retailer in South Africa. They have asked us to effectively take over the equipment management of the return centers and to bring some sanity and some, some, uh, some sanity and some order to their equipment management. Another solution, and this is basically something that we preempted that would potentially happen, was again the elimination of single-use packaging from a pharmaceutical retail chain. But the one thing that we did in the supply chain is that we preempted that the potential impact of COVID and we brought the manufacturing from China to South Africa. And that way, we effectively eliminated any supply chain disruptions for the equipment supplies. And then finally, the last solution that we had is particularly from a customer that looking for optimizing the VFR, what we call the vehicle flow rate. By moving a customer away from a palletized solution to a roll case solution, we've increased the VFR by 45%. And ladies and gentlemen, we look forward to working with you in the UAE. Thank you very much. Mr. V.S. Ramachandran, CFO of Blue Ocean Academy, back onto stage. And Miss Ladi Ibe, manager at Blue Ocean Academy, to give a small token of appreciation. Thank you very much.